Today on the channel, Adventurous Ones, we got a new unboxing and review for you as we're unboxing the Mattel Creations exclusive Extendar. Welcome to the toy review. It's time to get started. Adventurous ones for another unboxing and review. I'm your host as always, the master of the multiverse himself, Joseph Michaels, the Adventurous Joe. And I gotta tell you right now, I am getting a little fed up with Mattel Creations and their exclusives getting just mailed off like this. They used to be where they were boxed like this, but they also were encased in another box, a collector's type box, on the inside. Nowadays, that's not the case anymore. Either Mattel's just gotten lazy, or they just don't care on really the collecti the collectability of a collector's things coming in one piece. First off, we don't need that. Second, here is Extendar. And as you can see, nothing else in there. Chunk. Anyways, here's Extendar from the Masters of the Universe Origins line. He is a Mattel Creations exclusive. And there's the back of his card showing him taking on the evil horde. And also showing off a character we might see in the Motu Origins line later. Dragster, which I had that character when I was a kid. Same thing with this guy. Now, as you can see, the card is able to slide completely out because it's got this new plastic around it and stuff where they're making it so Mattel Creations or uh, Mattel Origins figures do not get the package all torn up and stuff for collectability purposes. Now we're going to set that there. He also comes with his own mini comic. And we're going to remove his shield. The shield extends out like so. Opens up on this side to this side. Then you click it in the middle. Kind of click it in the middle. Oh god. Okay, I'm going to need my knife. Just to pry this sucker. There we go. Boy, that sucker's stuck. But at least you know it's not going to come flying open on you. We're going to put his shield aside. So we can get him out of his plastic prison. Wow, all that just fell right out. Good job. And he just fell right over. <laughs> now, as you can see, the plastic is the casing is designed for the figure to slide back into it if you want it that way. Like if you're done with it and you want to just put it back in the thing, you put him back in his bubble. Slide it back in, slide everything on the inside again, and it's all good to go. Now for the purpose of our review, he is coming loose. So we're going to take this plastic thing of his, put it aside, and go over his stuff here, because he's got extendable pieces. for his legs. Now thankfully, he's not really strapped in there very good, so we can just get him right out if we want to. Because otherwise, these strappy things can be a pain in the rear to remove just like on his feet right now. He's still got some on his feet. There we go. Just want to 
one more there, and we're done. Now we're going to put that back over there and go from there. And here is Extendar. Which I got a feeling those things that dropped it might be the rest of his pieces because there's supposed to be a piece that allows him. There we go. He's extended like that. You're supposed to take the feet off. Let's see. Mark I think they just do, they just put them on. Yeah, it's like so. And in the case of uh, leg joints and stuff, you can split back uh, that far and back to normal like that. And just put that back in there like that. Pop that off. Put the piece on. Pop it back onto his foot. And voila! We got Extendar. And he's almost done because he's still got to get his head popped out. There we go. There's Extendar. I had this figure when I was a kid and stuff. The one thing that they did differently with this one is that you got to, instead of being able to push the joint upward, push his hands back in like that, push his legs back in like that, okay? They made it where only this pops in and up again, like that. They made it the rest of it where you've got to remove in order to put it together, like so. Pop this off. Pop that off. And he's just plain old, mm, I got my heart, mm, my arms all back to normal here. Now he does have decent wave, mm, wave, decent waist swivel. He can turn the whole 360. His head can do the same. Because it's also on a ball joint point. On the on the extended piece. Now, for the purpose of the review, let's put him back to normal here. Put his extended piece back on, like so, and there you go. Now, in the case of his leg articulation, he doesn't have very good leg articulation. He, so you can't move the leg back any further than it is, and so on and so forth. But you can position him. Now, he can stand at a decent size like this if you want him to just stay like that. But in the case of the shield going on his hand and everything, I'm not so sure about his weight moment, weight maneuverability, because you can put it on his wrist like so. First, we got to put it in his hand. Then clap it on his wrist. And there's his shield. Now, once again, like I said, he is very top heavy with the shield. Now, it's mostly because of his legs being extended out like this. Now, you can see where the shield point articulations go here and there. These, it collapse, it can collapse and stuff. Now, the big difference between this figure and his vintage version, he only came with the shield. His classics version, which is uh, about the Masterverse kind of scale they had back in the day, 
okay, which are the bigger figures, okay, that one came with a lance. He came with a lance and his shield and the extendable pieces to put him, to, you know, so he could extend. I don't have that figure, but at the same time, it's the thing of um, quality over quantity kind of deal. Now this figure was twenty dollars, okay? And uh, was it twenty dollars or twenty three ninety nine? Uh, let's see. With the tax and the shipping, it came to like twenty eight dollars and something for it. Yeah, he was only around like he was only around like twenty dollars for it and stuff. The the thing is though, was he worth that price? Being and was he worth being made into a Mattel Creations exclusive for that price? And the question is, what's it worth to you? Nostalgia, or along the lines of you, you know, you're a completionist, gotta catch them all kind of deal. To me, I sit back and go, this was my childhood. I had this original, I had the original figure and stuff, and I enjoyed playing with him all the time. I would extend him out all the time, I would make his legs extend and everything, to the point that uh, his chroming got worn down. I meant the pearlescent skin and started getting wore, wore down and everything because of playing with him so much. And This one, it's got a nice shine to it. But it's also got where, you know, certain areas where you can see it's just plain plastic, you know, hard plastic on them and stuff. To here, it's got a nice shine. You can see in the lighting. You can see on his head and the bat and body area where it's got nice shine to it and everything. The thing is, they could have done a little more to make him more shiny, okay? That extend our look like in both his um, classics version and his vintage version. But, was again, was it worth the price? Yeah, actually it was. Okay, because it, you get in the extendable pieces, you can remove them, which I would have preferred them to make it where he was just like his vintage figure and ex put the pieces keep the pieces in his arm but at the same time make it where he can extend them in and out okay just like the waist can do just like his head can do but the arms and the legs cannot so but this sucker sold right out too so it it, it did stay for a bit in the shop but it did sell out eventually now in the case of his mini comic it's a pretty nice little mini comic and yes, unlike the the ones that you always see, like during my Turtles of Grayskull review and stuff like that, the mini comic does come with words in it. It is not one of those that is being sold on the in the stores or something, or by Amazon. with no words in it and being sold as a non-English version. So, let's put this here. Well, I hope it'll stay there. My fan's kind of blowing a little bit here. Okay, let's put it that way. And let's put it this way. Yeah, there you go. So. What do you think, adventurous ones? Worth the price that we paid to get it? Or was it one of those that you probably passed on it, you know, because it was not worth buying it or whatever? Or did you think you could get it later on down the road? Which, by the way, is some good news, by the way, okay? You can go on eBay and buy this guy for under $40. There's people selling him on there for under $40. And even though the figure originally costed around $30, it was $20 plus the shipping and tax and stuff, which came out to about $28 and something. The thing is, you could still buy this figure from someone on eBay and not pay overpriced 
crap like they did with a lot of Mattel Creations exclusives back in the day. Where eBay was just like, uh, anybody bought, the, bought up these Mattel Creations were just reselling them and stuff. So, let's hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on anything we got going on in 2024. There's a lot more on the way, and we got big surprises in store as well. So, until the next unboxing, until the next review, peace out. May the force be with all of you. Every last one of y'all have a safe, lovely, and beautiful week out there. Take care of yourselves, your family, your friends, your pets, loved ones in general. God bless to all of you out there. Be smart. And get home safely to everybody. So until the next one, my adventurous ones, I will see you all later.